Hi, my name is Laana Rockdy Wild, and in this video, I worked on three houses. Um, first one here is Fairbanks. Of sheet rock upstairs that I have to do, and you could see I put this in here. So now I'm prepared to cover it, and then I need to mud oil tape and mud it. Oh yeah, I need to put some right here too. And on the other window also. So yeah, I can't wait. And I just am building that other house out back and that's causing me to not finish this. But, let's see, can I get through these cracks? Oh, it just wants to focus on the screen. Strange. Okay, I um, finished the upstairs sheetrock and I started cutting the sheetrock into pieces and sliding them down stairs and posting them up where they belong here. Uh, I'm doing all the big sections first. The next one I'm going to do is right here, but the weather is clearing up. There's the first time I've seen the sun in days, and I hear my neighbor who bought land down that way sawing, so they're doing some outside work. So I'm actually going to go work on my house that I'm building out back because I could do all this interior work anytime, but um, when it's nice out like this, that's the only really great time to work on this house. Plus I gotta get outside. I've been inside for a few days. It's been pouring rain. It's been nice though. I have had a lot of viewers on my YouTube channel I have like 3.6 thousand views on one of my posts for building this house out back. So I'm starting to pick up actually. And I'm almost, uh, I'm like at $63. So as soon as I get $100, it's gonna deposit it in my bank account. And it's fun. I'm getting a lot of comments and I'm commenting back. So thank you all my great subscribers. You're making this fun. Thank you. I forgot to turn the camera towards myself and say hello. I will head on out and get this done. And this is the house I'm working on behind my house in Fairbanks. And it's a 18 by 14 log house uh first time i'm building a first uh i mean a full uh log house compared to three-sided logs and it was crucial that i get these logs off the ground they were gonna rot this might actually be more like a warehouse but we'll see
Well, yesterday when I was trying to split wood, the engine would run, but it wouldn't move forward. This wouldn't. And I was missing with it. Oh, wait, no. Yesterday when I was trying to split wood, um, the thing won't work. I mean, this won't move forward. So I w would pull the handle right here but nothing would happen. It would just be going And um, it's a two piece system. You have to like put one hand on here and hold this button down and then put one hand here and pull this. And then I took uh, that piece off cause I thought maybe it was hitting that. And I took the other one off and then I finally read on Google and read it. And it said that these switches sometimes go bad or aren't uh, as good. So I took it off and I used my hand to push it forward, to push it in. And yes, this moved. And I was like, oh, that's what it was. And so uh, this, I let this move all the way up to here. And then I let it go. Uh and let it retract but i took my hand off of this thing right here and uh uh you could see all the f fluid shot out all the brake fluid or hydraulic fluid i guess you would call it it and plus the rod shot out so now this thing i need to buy brake fluid and fill it from here I drained the rest of the fluid out because I figured, well, maybe it was time to change the fluid anyway. So, yeah. I have to buy brake fluid and then I guess I got to put these back on too. It wasn't that. I think some pictures would be better to show what I'm talking about maybe. Anyway. So I got to work on that today. I got to haul. Uh, once I get all that split and cut up, I got to haul trash. And I'm also trying to get a range stove to cook from. So right here, I have an outlet I haven't used yet. And currently the way I'm cooking is using two blocks like this and putting the stove between it. Boom, that's how I'm cooking. But um, it's, it's like $15 for a container. So I either buy a camp stove and use propane and quit buying those little containers or I just step it up and buy a range stove, but I might not even have to step it up, but there's a free one in Salcho. Uh, I got on Facebook Marketplace and I messaged about five people. So I'm going to get a stove today one way or another. Phillips screwdriver. So, taking off this lever this lever was not pushing properly and that's why it stopped working so let me not lose these screws here there they are those two screws and what I think is there's a, it almost looks like, let me look at this. It almost seems like something should have went in there to help push against this lever right here. You could see the lever has a dent in it. Maybe I just needed to tighten the screws. I'll put more fluid in it and then
tighten these screws here. But yeah, yesterday this whole thing shot out. And all the fluid just shot out. Not all of it. For some reason, I thought maybe a screw went in the top of this, but it doesn't. I think it just sits like that. I thought maybe a screw was missing, so I would take it to Lowe's and put one in there, but there was no spot for a screw. It says it's $17 for a thing of fluid. Another thing that happened yesterday was I did find this broken right here. Oh, so, um, this piece had nothing to screw onto. You could see this piece broke off. I needed to buy a bigger fridge and freezer and a range oven and there was one for sale in Delta Junction so I decided to drive there and also finish the floor and sanding and varnishing the walls in Delta Junction. Here's the range oven I um, chose to buy for 50 bucks. I made some tea on it today. Here's an outlook over the Alaska range, Tanana River. This is the first house I built in Delta Junction on four acres, 20 by 20, three-sided log house. Right here, I'm sanding the walls with an electric sander. Then I'm cutting off some of this excessive tarp. Right here, I'm using a cl clear, non-toxic varnish for inside on these logs and also on the tongue and groove for the ceilings.
once I got this first half of the house done with the varnish and sanding, I uh, was ready to put the floor down. This flooring I'm using doesn't require underlayment, so it's uh, pretty easy to install also. Right here, I am sanding and varnishing the other half of the house and getting it ready so that I could put the floor down next. There's been a lot of squirrel problems, so I'm going to have to cut down these two trees that are causing squirrels to come around. There's a squirrel up in the tree. Okay, I'll drop this other one.
sick of squirrels. More squirrels in the tree. Tired of it. Last year, two lumbers fell on a piece of um, flour and then it pressed it and turned it all like black. And I'll put a picture of it in here. It's beautiful. And so I'm uh, trying to make that happen again with a collage of flowers.
it's getting hard to see. I'll be the great liberator and set somebody free. There's time to talk about it. Now that I had the floor done, I'm focusing on the yard, cleaning it up, and burning piles and sawing down all these willows and stobs. I got bit twice. I cut right into a bee's nest. Son of a bitch. Ow. Ow. Son of a bitch. I can see them flying around. Right there's one bite. Wait. Oh! Right there. And then two on my foot. Ah! Ouchie. Ouchie, 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 ouchie. Son of a bitch. I just got bit again. Get away from me, dude. I think I'll get anaphylactic shock. Oh, God. I, I still want to burn stuff. So I'm just going to make a fire right there. Make it happen anyway. I got bit up, man.
My fridge worked great, and then I purchased a range oven cord for my oven, hooked it up, and my oven and stove works great, so I had a cup of tea. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll keep on working on these houses and probably uh, sell one or rent them out. I gotta do something and definitely gotta finish these houses before I start another project.